And as you can see, I'm not playing my Necro on this one. What I am doing is playing a new character. He's a Paladin Dwarf. And we decided to uh, make a, a character together. Uh, this is uh, Gurpy that I told you guys about before. Uh, I've been talking with him for a while now. And he's been meaning to uh, make a new Druid. Uh, from way back when, when he used to play. So we decided uh, we wanted to make one at the same time. And it's so much more enjoyable to play with somebody else. But on top of that, it's uh, a lot quicker as well, as you can see. We don't really need to worry about uh, conning the creatures. Pretty much anything within this uh, general area will be okay for the two of us uh, to take out together. Uh, and as I said before, he's playing a druid and I'm playing a paladin. And we gave ourselves a little bit of something. He uh, he actually provided it all. He provided me with uh, some armor. And I'll show you what that looks like here in a second. Uh, he gave me a belt. And he also gave me these. Let you guys look at that while we continue to kill, because I don't want to slow him down uh, trying to do the video. But uh, he also gave me 50 platinum to buy my uh, spells. Um, unfortunately, we're killing so quickly, and my spells are kind of far away, that uh, I haven't had time to go pick them up yet, so we're going to hold off on that for now. We don't really need them, uh, you know, going this fast. <laughs> But we are killing insanely quick. I'm not even using my taunt. Oh great, what's he hitting now? Take my eyes off for a second. He's over here taking hits. Let's get the taunt off of it. Come on, taunt, taunt, taunt. My taunt uh, is in the toilet because I've never used it. Come on, give me taunt. There we go. Yeah, that was close for him. That was a rough one. Let's come over here and grab this back. Give him some time to uh, to heal and let his power go up a little bit. Now you don't want to attack those will-o'-wisps, those little glowing things right there in the background. Uh, those things are a lot higher level and even when they're not higher level they usually do a lot of damage. In fact if I can click on it I'll con it for you guys. Man, it's so hard to click on those things. There we go. As you can see, it's red. I mean, it's just too high of a level to really... He's already killed it. Okay, we pretty much wiped everything out in the area. And you run into this issue even if you're not in a group. If you happen to be on during the you know the peak hours of the day, uh, and you see that there's a lot of other people on, and they're all over here, I mean, creatures do not spawn as fast as they do in this game, uh, as they do in some of the other games where you just constantly kill all the time. You don't have to worry about repop. Uh, you do in this one, it, although they do make it a lot better off in these lower level zones, because they realize you're going to kill quickly, and you're not going to have a lot of downtime because you just started off, and that's the way the characters go. At higher levels, they realize that uh, it takes you quite a long time for your power to go back up, and it takes you, uh, it should take you equal amount of time for you to kill the creature. So, like I said many times before, you will have really long fights, uh, you know, 5, 10, sometimes 20 minutes long, uh, if you're soloing by yourself uh, in a really, really hard area, you know. And we pretty much wiped everything out. I don't see anything left to pull. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's a uh, oh, fleeting fury. I bet that does some serious damage. Nice. Oh, there's some over there. Yeah, 
Yeah, I do like that one. Picked it up super cheap. Wisdom, intelligence, strength. Only downside to that I see is that it's lore. And that's not really a downside unless you're hunting the area. You know, if you're sitting in the room uh, and you manage to get it, now you can't get another one. Uh, at least not until you sell it. I mean, it can't be on your character, it can't be in the bank uh, for you to be able to get that. So there are downsides to that. They're usually a lot more because they are lore. Uh, because when you find a good group, you don't necessarily ever want to leave that spot. And so you may be there for several hours. Uh, you may cancel other things because, you know, there's days where you log on and nothing's going on. You can't find any groups. So do when you do find one. It's that much more uh, special in that sense. Uh, so you may be there for long periods of time, and it just sucks that once everybody has one, you know, sometimes you will be like, oh, somebody leave and go sell it, and you can split the money back with people or, or things of that sort so that it doesn't go to waste. Oh, this guy's even. Yeah, it's a mega buff because it's like level one. Let's see what it did. Oh wow, from level. It's a lot of health there. Ten points. <laughs> but considering I only had thirty to begin with, uh, yeah, that is actually quite a lot. There we go. Now remember, if you're another class, you want to make sure you stand. Uh, that one was a lot easier. This guy's already killed this. Oh, I'm about to level here, guys. That already. So I'm pretty sure he's doing all the damage. This is taking me this long to kill this creature. Sweet. Yeah, he just three fourths the creature's life in one hit. I'm guessing that's him. That's all him. Alone. Let's pull it over here. both of those. And our life is going down a little bit here and there, uh, but nothing big. Let him heal up real quick. A couple levels we probably can go over and hunt the, uh, uh, I believe they're orcs. Uh, he got that one. Yeah, he's getting all these. I guess our bat over here. There we go. Chasing down a bat. Now remember to keep using your taunt, even if you're hunting by yourself, because you will level up, like right there where you see I got it up to level 2. And so it's ready when you need it. I mean, you won't always use it, but when you join a group, the last thing you want to be able to do uh, is join a group and then not be able to keep aggro because your taunt's just not working. Now I'm asking him if he knows the exact level. Uh, you know, because if it's level 4, we could probably head over there at level 2. Let's go over there and check it out.
I mean, he's really nice just offering all this stuff. Uh, I hate to take uh, advantage or something and just be like, yeah, yeah, I keep taking, but not this way. This is or kill. Oh, okay. Well, that's where I thought he wanted to go. I guess uh, he's saying maybe in a few levels we can go over there. We're still hunting uh, just roamers. I don't really see anything out this way. I think it's up here on the other side of the mountain. <laughs> yeah, he got lost. It's easy to do in these zones. Uh, I've done it plenty of times, especially when the, the fog and the rain rolls in and your visibility goes down to like two inches in front of your face. Because uh, you can see in the distance right there. Uh, it's slowly being pushed back as we move further and further in. Gotta let him know. But yeah, the visibility can be pretty low in some of these zones. I remember there's one zone uh, where it's almost completely dark all the time. There's like a 20 minute period where it's sunny outside uh, enough that you can get through it. And if you come at it at any other time, unless you're like a dark elf who has uh, the ability to uh, see in the dark a little bit better. And even with the dark elf, I remember just literally sitting at the entrance with like 10 other people because nobody wanted to risk going through the zone because they just couldn't see it, you know, it was just too dark. And that's cool, you know, that they can put those kind of aspects into a zone, make it real. You know, there's certain places in the world that have more fog than others, and it's a hazard, you just have to deal with it. And that's kind of what they did in this one. I don't know any other game that's really ever made the environment, you know, an aspect to be feared or avoided or, you know, just understood as, as much as it does in this one. percent per kill is not going to be very good. It's going to take forever. Let's look. Yeah, it's going up pretty slow. <laughs> he wants to buy CB belts. That's a good way to level up quickly. Um, it's going to cost you a little bit of money, though, unfortunately. Oh, here we go. This should be even. That's blue. Go ahead and loot it. I don't have a lot of space, but I need the bone chips for my necro. Uh, and those those bone chips can actually be worth quite a bit of money for those of you who are trying to uh, to save up uh, for your next little spells. That's a good item. Uh, probably not over here because there's not very many necros in this part of the world, uh, unless they traveled quite a big distance uh, at such a uh, such a low level. So it's not likely unless they're probably tweaks or they know the game. And in that case, they probably already have a place to get their their own uh, bone chips. Uh, but over in the common lands where there's a lot of necros. Hours, we can find armor starter sets here. Grab this real quick. I think we're doing pretty good. Now, normally I can type a lot quicker, but I am actually laying down on a couch, so I'm keyboard, wireless keyboard in my lap, so I'm not able to type 
nearly as quickly as I normally do. Otherwise, I could have uh, a long conversation with somebody and be able to talk on here at the same time. You can grab the bat real quick. I'll grab this. Here we go. I seriously think we probably could do the orcs. If they're level 4 to level 5, with me tanking and him doing the damage, uh, I, I think that would be possible. But I don't want to push it because I don't know for sure it may be a bad idea. Uh, I can't believe I wasted my lay of hands. That's what I get for clicking on it. Now, Lay of Hands, for those of you who don't know, I believe you get it back every hour. Uh, but it basically is a giant free heal. doesn't cost any power. Uh, cast instantly. Can't really get uh, interrupted from what I remember. And it's just a great lightsaber. You know, it's just... You're going to have it in the background. And most of the time, you'll go entire days with never using it because it's... It's the emergency heal you only use when there's an issue because of how long it takes to come back. And my lay of hands is already back. That's that's weird. That might be a, a bug of some sort because I do know it takes quite a long time to come back. Let's see if I drag this down there now. Well, let me do that. How do I do this? How do I link it? There we go. So control left click on the item. I don't know if that's better. It does more damage. But it has a slower delay. Guess I'll put that on. And delay can be a, a very big factor, especially for, like, rogues and things of that sort. Uh, delay can be almost everything to them, because the faster they can hit, the more damage they ultimately will do. But it's usually a give and take between damage and delay, so you usually have to pick one or the other. And so it's a very, very fine line that you have to walk. And they've got it down to the exact science, because... Now you got little programs for everything. Back in the day, somebody would literally find uh, a creature and attack it over and over and over again uh, with different weapons to figure out how much damage it was doing and how fast and things of that sort. Uh, and then they would share that information with other people. And so uh, people would just slowly over time figured out which weapons were better than others. Uh, not because of, you know, looking at it and being like, oh, this one has more strength and this one's attack is this. At level 3, we can snare kite orcs. Uh, because the stats and stuff can be very confusing, you know. It's it's very easy to get wrapped up and be like, oh, it has more strength, so therefore I should do this much more damage with it. And you're behind it, him. As long as I don't still aggro, that method should work just fine. That is, if we ever hit level 3. I mean, we're going pretty slow as it is right now. A lot faster than we would normally, though. But yeah, looking at stats alone can be very... Uh, very tricky, you know? You can get confused with them. And so sometimes people will just have to go out and see how they actually work. Because, uh, you know, this game is very detailed-oriented in some aspects, but then completely and totally uh, disregarding things that you may become accustomed to. Like, if you look at your stats on your weapons, it may tell you that it does a certain spell, uh, but it doesn't tell you what that spell does. In fact, none of the spells uh, have uh, any description on them. 
And so people back in the day would have to, because EverQuest uh, didn't come up with a spell list saying this is what it was and this is what it does, uh, and this is where you can go buy them. Um, because unlike in other games, you get the spells right away when you level. This one, you actually have to go off and buy your spells. You have to go find the NPC who sells them. And then when you got the spell, uh, you had to figure out what it does. Sometimes the name would be a, a big clue on what it does, and sometimes the name uh, wouldn't tell you anything about it, you know? And over time, people would just cast it on a creature, look down at their little uh, chat bar, and see what, this, the, what it was doing. It was doing a damage over time. Uh, did the creature seem like it ran slower? Did it seem like it did this? Did it seem like it, do, it did that? And there's no real way to tell for sure if it was slowing the creature other than you watching to see that it, the effects were there. It's not like it showed you down here in your main chat bar, oh, this, the creature was slowed down by 5% or by 10%. Uh, no, you had to figure that out yourself. Uh, and then, you know, all those people doing it, you know, eventually you figured out that it was, you know, 7% or 8%, you know, and it was, it was close enough that people weren't really arguing about it anymore. Uh, but it's one of those things that it, it took a community to do. To, uh, do. It wasn't just, uh, you know, click on the spell and there's everything you need to know about it and how much power it costs and, and what level it is and all this other stuff. It didn't tell you that stuff back in the day. Uh, so it made it more... Oh, what level is this guy? Ooh, even. He's already almost dead. This is going by pretty quick. This is pretty good. I like this. I like these low levels of areas. It's it's a little bit more casual when you first start off, uh, especially if you're getting to know somebody else and things of that sort. What is that? A skeleton? That's a person. Fighting over here next to these uh, guards is a nice idea if you're not sure you can take the creature on. But if you get too close to the guards, the guards will help you out, and you may not get the uh, experience for it. The way to know if you're going to get the experience is you have to do more than 50% and get the last hit. So if you do 90% or even 98% uh, and the guard only gets that last uh, 1 or 2%, uh, you know, you won't get any of the experience for it. So it's very hard to use the guards because of that, and that's probably why they put it in there. Uh, unless you're a wizard or something like that who has a big, uh, you know, attack that they can do right at the very end to get the the experience but they still have to do 50 percent so it's kind of a little cheat or a little help in certain areas where you have guards to run back to there are places like that at higher levels that you can kind of use the guards in that uh that way but it doesn't happen very often so it's not something they ever really worried about even in later games uh, i think they just accepted the fact that people were going to use guards and it's better to to let people use them for the reason they need to use them for, rather than try to figure some way around that not working right. I mean, I guess they could have it where if the creature, if the guard does any damage whatsoever, you don't get any experience, but it seems more fair that if you've done more than 50%, you know, give you a little bit of experience for it. this one. Oh, I killed it in one hit. And the problem with doing that is you saw that if you're too far away, you don't get experience for it, or he won't get experience for it. Um, so you do want to stay somewhat close by. Later levels, you don't really worry about that because you're never going to get that far away in an actual group inside of a dungeon of, of you know, like Seb or Guck or or a soulless bee or something like that, you're going to be close enough together that's not going to be an issue. Uh, but at these early stages, it's definitely uh, something to be aware of. If you're put together, you know, a little pickup group of four or five of you guys and you're just roaming around killing everything you can possibly find, uh, you're going to level a lot quicker, yeah, but you want to make sure that you guys don't spread out too fast or too far away 
Uh, otherwise, you're just basically all killing singles, and you're not really earning the extra experience for being that way, you know? Because you wouldn't need five guys to attack one bat. By the time two of them had clicked on it to hit it, you know, the bat would be dead already, so... Another spider. I think we should try the orcs. To be honest, I think we could do it. Oh, there. Got that one that just spawned right there on top of us. Look how close we are. Two bubbles in, that's not bad, I guess. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> wink, wink. I don't want to push him, though. Uh, won't be able to hit him. He's probably right. The higher the level the creature is, the harder it is for a low level to uh, to do anything to him. Uh, you know, tanks and stuff have a little bit easier time. Oh, sweet. So I keep telling you guys, the caliber of people on this game uh, is just crazy. This guy's over here just to, to help people out. He's casting buffs on people, running by, Spirit of Wolf, uh, Shield of Thorns, which will be great. It's a damage shield. Uh, pretty much anything we touch, uh, that will, anything that touches us will die right away. Now the fun really starts. How long is this damage shield less? Oh, the Spirit of the Wolf. Shield of Thorns, five minutes. Let's run on a hit on. <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, we do get regrowth on that. We could probably do it. Let's see, they're red. As long as we don't get too cocky.
remember to loot these things because you can always get those orc belts off of them. See, you do get a faction hit over here. Uh, I'll read those off in a second. Oracle one's going to be tough because he heals. You want to take out the healer first, always. I don't think he's going to be able to keep up. These guys are killing themselves just on hitting us alone. Let's see how much longer we get on that. Apparently, if you don't hit them, you don't get experience because of the damage shield. Let's run over here and grab these guys. I hit it. Still haven't hit this guy. There we go. Okay, where did my teammate go? I don't know where he went. Is that him over here? left. We need to make as much good of that as we can. Ah, here we go. Those are even. We got nine points on that one. see how much uh, power leveling will help your guy out if you happen to have a couple good friends uh, or that sort, you know. You could really go really quickly through the levels. Where'd my guy go? Oh, he's over here. Crushbone belts are what we are looking for. Uh, in fact, I'll put this on. Destroy that. I think I can wear that shirt. Yep.
level of that. Nah, it's dark blue on that one. This little spider going over there. Let's head back over here. Oh, there's a roamer over there. Red. He's the one really doing all the damage with his weapon. Keep taunting. And this is uh, what comes in handy if you have a good skill and taunt that you could be doing absolutely no damage compared to the other guy. Uh, because, you know, if you're a Shadow Knight or anything of those sorts, like a Paladin, you're gonna get people in your group like Necros or Enchanters or just people or Wizards to, uh, to boot, you know, they're, they're above all else really, once they get their little Ice Comet. Uh, that could just do so much damage you're not even going to be able to compete. And yet you still have to hold aggro from those guys. Uh, so that can be very, very difficult to do if your skill and taunt is not as high as it could possibly be. And even if it is, it can still be very, very hard to do. So get used to clicking the button over and over and over again. Or put it on the, the keyboard and just sit there and click it over and over again. You're not the only class that has to do that. Uh, uh, if you haven't played a bard before, they get songs instead of spells. And they can only have so many songs on at a time. Uh, I think it's only one song on at a time, to be honest. And, uh... There's another belt. Oh, in a second, I think he might die here in a second. I need to get some of these off of him. his target kill it off quicker but as long as he's not getting attacked by both his chloroplast which is regen I uh, should be able to uh, keep him alive Sound, you can hear the sounds of like crushing bone and, and skin and stuff like that occasionally when they get a when they land a critical hit. Uh, the rest of the time it's just these normal hits like that right there where he just heard. Uh, those are critical hits. You get them as well. I can go farm a bunch on Grubby too and pads get us to level 15 by tomorrow. Now, this guy's gonna be a higher level than my main guy. damage. Occasionally you can see I'm doing a little bit. Once Chloroplast runs out, uh, you know, we're not going to be able to stay here. Um, kill these guys. We may be able to kill them single if we get another level or so, but with them being in groups like this, we probably need another person. I definitely would need some spells to be able to heal and things of that sort, which I'm not able to do just yet because I haven't gone back uh, to town since we started, and you guys have been with me the whole way there, so you guys know that for sure, uh, that I haven't snuck off and, and gotten the stuff, and I'm just not using it, it's just... Uh, does he still have chloroplast on? Yeah, I think he does. Skin like nature, an hour, seven minutes, storm strength, spirit of the wolf. Now my brother back in the day used to play a, uh, a warden, a uh, druid and uh, he loved that class he loved soloing he wasn't really big into groups I think he was a little bit too uh, you know afraid or shy of them at first
guy, where'd he go? But yeah, he was kind of uh, shy when it came to groups. Uh, he didn't want to do them that often. Uh, you know, I would actually have to come over and sit there with him and and teach him how to do it because he was very unfamiliar with it. Like he had he had literally soloed his entire way to the max level. Uh, unlike me with the Shadow Knight, that you know you could fight by yourself, but it's so slow. And most of the time, uh, even if you're skilled, unless you got good armor and you're incredibly lucky, uh, you could still die. And so you get tired of that really quick with the, a 50-50 chance on almost every kill. Uh, you may or may not die. And even if you don't die, all you get is like 1%. And if you die, you lose like 6%. So, uh, you know, it's not really worth it in the long run. So it forced me. Uh, congrats. It forced me uh, at the, the same time to you know, go off and look for groups to figure out how to fight in a group uh, at, at early stages, and I was able to see the mistakes that others made, I was able to, to see the mistakes that I made, and, uh, you know, fix them before it got to a higher level where it was catastrophic, you know, if, if you are a necro and you've never been in a group, you don't know anything about mezzing, uh, you know, you don't know anything about pathing issues, your pet can get you in so much trouble because of that, the same thing with a mage, um, so grouping allows you to experience those things, and if you do it as you slowly uh, level bit by bit, you will become accustomed to them. And he just never had that skill uh, or that that ability to do that because he had never grouped. Uh, so he was just very cautious, very afraid because he would see people, you know, getting yelled at, or he would see it in his his, uh, his guild that uh, you know so and so sucks because they got the whole group wiped, you know. It could take you 45 minutes to an hour to get down to a certain room uh, you were camping. And then if everybody got wiped, it would take you twice that long sometimes to get back down. Because of course you're doing it without your armor. And then everybody has to run from where they're minded. And so it is a huge deal if you get everybody killed uh, because you don't know what you're doing. And they're going to remember that. Uh, that weapon, I guess. Now most people will be understanding if it was a mistake. Uh, you know, or you just didn't know any better, they will accept that. But they won't accept it if you keep doing it over and over again. And he was just afraid he'd do it at all. I guess we'll run in here. Can try it. Worst that happens is we die. And it's not that long of a run over here. Well, at least not for him. It's a little bit of a run for me. I don't think we'll have too big of an issue. If we can get this one down faster uh, with just the two of them, maybe spread out some of the damage to him. I think that's what he, yeah, he got one on him. I still have lay of hands that I can use on myself, so that's not too bad. In fact, let me do that real quick. I'll target myself, use lay of hands. Ability not ready. So it is still grayed out. I don't know why it came back. But as I told you guys, it takes... I thought it was an hour, but it could be a whole day. That may be why I like never used it, because it was just that rare. And I never had a paladin to begin with. I had the, uh, the opposite side of it. I had the... Uh, Shadow Knight, who instead of had Lay of Hands, had uh, Death Touch, or Harm Touch. Oh great, we got another one. And uh, Harm Touch did basically the reverse. Instead of doing uh, a massive heal, it did a massive direct damage. Uh, so, if you were in a bad fight, and you didn't think you were going to make it out, you couldn't heal yourself, but you could do so much damage to the creature that you might be able to... Uh, Run 
And I'm trying not to pass him up. He's a lot hurt more than I am, so that's why he's going a little slower. Um, and if you outrun him, if he does get stunned or rooted or something like that, you're not there to help him out. And here the guard should be able to... I would sit down, though, because you're going to take a bigger hit. Uh, although the guards wiped him out long before we even got there, so that's good. But I think the whole time I played, I probably used uh, Harm Touch or Death Touch uh, maybe a total of like 20 times. Uh, not a whole lot because you'd always try to save it for the times you needed it and then you'd just completely, uh, you know, on a good day, and most days you try to be you know, as good as possible. You wouldn't need it. And so that kind of went to waste. Go ahead and sit down. He's going to run AFK real quick. And we're probably going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. If you like these videos, uh, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave comments below. would love to hear you guys' ideas on what classes or characters that you would prefer to see me play, uh, what zones you guys would like to see more often, uh, or even certain areas within those zones. If you have a favorite uh, camp or a favorite name that you want to see, or maybe one that you never got to see the first time around and that you want to see me go off and try to kill him, uh, you know, just leave that down in the, the comments below and I'll get to it as soon as I can. And I want to thank you guys, as always, for watching.